Okay, I think what we're going to try to do is just explain the uh, trig envelopes a little bit. And um, trig envelopes are a pretty uh, neat feature. They're not super prominent, so I'm not sure uh, if you've even used them yet. But if you've got Euro rack or something that uh, takes an envelope, it's a pretty nice feature. Uh, there is a little bit of a um, different way to control these. It's not as straightforward as just using, you know, an envelope module. But if you need one in a pinch, there is one available. So to get uh, two trig envelopes, we're going to uh, do work from both the grid and the CV matrix. And so let me just explain what I got going on here. I have sequencer one, which is going to be our only sequencer that we'll mess with. And that is a mono sequencer. Uh, trig envelopes work on all types. Um, this mono sequencer is sending pitch data over to a Bastel pizza, which is running into a VCA. And then that's all you're going to hear uh, coming out. Um, along with a little bit of drums. The um, way to get to your trig envelopes is to go to your CV gate matrix, which is shift LFO or the CV gate button. And then right here you'll see uh, I've got some stuff already assigned, but CV7 output is assigned to sequencer one. And then instead of volt per octave, which is here, we're going to be doing uh, this button, which is trig envelopes. And so you can see on the trig envelope screen, we've got the um, voice one. <clears throat> if this were multi um, chord poly uh, matricial, you'd have more voices you could select from. You can do all eight as envelopes if you want. You've got attack, which I'll turn back to uh, zero. You've got attack modulation, which is just a source of modulation, either LFO or mod lane, to modulate this attack parameter. Then you've got sustain, which is a percentage of your initial uh, velocity amplitude. It's um, a percentage number, remember that. And that attack is actually handled outside of the CV matrix. You go back to the grid and you hit your velocity encoder or press it and you get your velocity view. This is on mono. Velocity view is um, on most of them, most of the modes, but not every mode. I don't think, uh, I'm not sure if Matriceal has it. <clears throat> Another area is release, and that's handled by your gate. And so gate view is here. And you can see we've got sort of a short gate. And so that'll be, you know, not the full envelope length. That'll be just a short one. And so what we'll do is just go ahead and uh, start everything. You can see up on Mordax data that um, we've got about a five volt envelope there. Velocity up, attack zero. You can hear a little bit of clicking. And to get rid of that, I'm gonna turn my attack up. And you can see variation in the envelope. That's because I've actually got random perform on. We'll turn that off. But back to my attack. For me, about 8, 9, 10, 11, somewhere in there gets rid of my clicking. Just leave it at 12. Uh, back here in CB gate trig envelope, I'm going to turn sustain up. And that'll get me very consistent envelope. Okay. If I turn sustain down, see a, a difference in shape when we do a longer envelope. Let's uh, test that real quick. You see as I dial sustain down, there's a second leg of that envelope that I'm going up again. There's a second leg of that envelope down. So zero sustain is just really like an attack decay envelope. And then as you add some sustain, go back to our grid, final step, turn that gate down. Our final step is 
affecting our release. You can see that you can get um, sort of like a three leg envelope out of it. So it's attack, CV matrix, and then sustain percentage uh, lets your decay actually take effect. If you have that up to 100, you're not going to get that decay section. You don't get to control decay. Let's put it down for the longer envelopes. And then your gate length on your final step, that's important. You can kind of see right there, we've got sort of a ADSR shape. It's not quite gonna give us the flat sustain, but uh, for the duration of the full gate, but it is, you know, a, a three-legged envelope. All right, so let's kind of reset. Get some percussive envelopes out of here. I'm going to turn my attack back up, turn my sustain up, velocity, and gate. Just had to reset there. I had a gate that was a little short. Attack, sustain, velocity is consistent, and gate is consistent. All right, so now what we're going to do is uh, introduce a little variation here. One quick way to do that is to go into velocity and affect your actual velocity points, or another way is to go into random perform and let the random perform affect velocity. You're not gonna hear it yet until I give it a little room. So now you can hear it affecting. I add a couple more in there. Now, one thing that we can also mess with is swing. thing we could do if we like our rhythm quickly is go into random generator you've got your pitch range might be kind of high just add a few notes random percent turn my ties off and then I'm using the pitch function it'll keep my rhythm and it will uh, just alter my pitch go back to velocity again. trig envelopes.